Hello and welcome. This is an instructional video on how to submit to the SIGGRAPH 2020 Computer Animation Festival Electronic Theater. The submission process can be broken down into three steps. Step 1. Completion of the submission form. This form will ask for information on your submission and its creators. Step 2 is uploading your submission video to our website. We have certain specifications on the video format and you must include an auto-generated entry slate at the beginning of your submission video. We'll go over that in detail later in this instructional video. Then, step three, filling out the permissions form. We ask applicants to sign permission forms before their applications are accepted. We'll also go over this in detail later. Once you complete these three steps, your submission will be considered complete and will go on to the jury for review. Let's start with part one. Completion of the submission form. Once you've logged into the submission website and clicked Make a New Submission, you'll want to select the Computer Animation Festival Electronic Theater link. This will bring you to the submission form. Note at the top that required fields are shown in red. For this demonstration, I'll only be filling out the required portions, but there may be sections of the form that you will also want to fill out too, depending on your submission. I'll enter the title of my project into the first text box. If you have an alternative title of your submission in an original language, you can enter it into the second text box below. Next, I'll select a category. The festival accepts submissions in nine categories. You can click on the Computer Animation Festival link to view the descriptions of each category. After. I'll enter the information of the creators of my submission. We definitely recommend double or triple checking the information you provide here to make sure that it's accurate and spelled correctly. If you're accepted, this creator's information will be what's in the program. The form allows you to add as many creators as necessary. I'll add a synopsis and a listing of software used to create the submission and or any technical advancements that came from it. I'll set an approximate runtime for my entry, the year I completed my submission, and the country it was produced in. We have a box just below that if you need to list other countries that were involved in the production. If this is the first public screening or premiere of your film anywhere, select the World Premiere option. Alternatively, if this is the first public screening or premiere of your film outside of its country of origin, select the International Premiere option. Otherwise, select the Submission Has Been Premiered option. Next, I'll upload a representative image of my submission for promotional work. Make sure your image meets the standards mentioned on the website to ensure its best presentation. If there's any copyrighted content in my image, I can add credits or comments about it here. The entry video section is just a reminder that we need to submit a video. We'll do that next after we submit this form. I'll confirm that the information I supplied in this form is complete and accurate, and then I'll submit. The next step is to upload my submission video. After completing the submission form, an item will appear in my to-do list reminding me that I'm required to upload the entry video. I can click on the Upload Entry Video link there to upload my video, or if I click on the Details link next to my submission, and scroll down to the Entry Video section at the bottom of the page, I can use the Upload File to SohoNet link too. Once I click the link, I'll be taken to the Video Upload web page. The first thing I'll need to do is download the Entry Slate. Each slate is auto-generated for each entry, and I'll need to include this at the beginning of my video. We require that this slate be presented in the following order. 5 second slate, 5 second black, submission start, 2 second black. We also require an audio and visual 2 pop cue 2 seconds before the first frame, 
and two seconds after the last frame of the work. We have more specifications on video and audio formats, including end credit durations, that are listed on our website, so you can click on the link provided to get to that information. We've also included the link in the description of this video. Once I've added the slate to the beginning of my video in the correct format, I can click on the Upload Media for My CAF Submission link, and from there, click on the Upload button to select and upload my video. The website will run through a number of tests first to verify the file format and slate are properly set up, and once successful, it will begin to upload. In the case my slate is missing, or improperly added to my video, the test will fail and alert me so I can verify I follow the specifications. Once my video upload is complete, I'll get a notification in my browser and I can exit the web page safely. In a short time, I'll receive an email from ACM with the attached permission and release form, which will lead us into the final step, completing the permissions form. The permission form sent to you will look similar to this one. Take note of this statement here, the grant permission for participation in electronic theater. You must check yes to this statement in order to have your content eligible for the SIGGRAPH Electronic Theater. If not checked, then you cannot complete this form and your submission will be voided. Secondly, we strongly encourage you to grant some, if not all, of the permissions in this section as we use the images and submission information to promote your work on the SIGGRAPH Conference website, the Advanced Program, press releases, the SIGGRAPH blog, and more. We request these rights in advance, in case you are accepted, in part for promotional use, distribution, and for inclusion into the traveling showreel. These permissions are only acted upon for accepted submissions, so for submissions that are rejected, these will no longer be relevant. Once I complete and submit this permissions form, my submission will be considered fully complete and submitted, and will show up as under evaluation in the submission system. If you have any more questions about the submission process, or about the Computer Animation Festival, check out our website in the video description, or send us an email at caf s2020 at siggraph.org. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at SIGGRAPH 2020 in Washington, D.C.